Here's another project for our garage with the loft above it. And in this one here, I will provide you with a double shed roof with a couple of gable roof sections on each side. And in this video, I'm not going to go over the entire process, just show you some of the modifications that you might need to do from a previous video that I did. And I will put a link to that video in the video description box because I already built something like this with one shed dormer on one side, not a double shed dormer or one on each side. So let's go ahead and get started by removing the roof sheathing so that we can take a look at the modifications I would have made to the other side. And basically this section of the roof, the wall framing, the dormers will be identical to the other side. And about the only difference between the two will be the rafters lapping over here and a section of the sheathing that I will be changing. And I will cover that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and work our way around the building to where the rafters are lapping here. And you can see right here where they're lapping. And these rafters are 16 inches on center. And since we're dealing with a low sloping roof, the top of the blocks probably don't need to be shaped. However, you can shape them if you need to. And the lap will provide us with a nice structural tie between each side of the roof. We're going to nail into both sides of the rafters. Maybe put four nails on each side and then four nails going from the other side into this rafter. And then of course we will toenail each rafter into the ridge beam. Go ahead and take a look at the other side of the lap there. Zoom out. And again, this video won't require that much attention to detail because I have most of the framing information in the other video. So again, this side right here will be the same as the other side. And of course, this will be a little different because we're dealing with the stairwell here. And I believe I provided you with two different methods you can use in the other video to frame one side with the rafters and the wall framing here that will have a wall like this attached to the roof rafters. And the one on the other side will have the wall sitting on top of the roof rafters. And the wall framing for this wall should be the same on each side. And of course the walls here that will be sitting on top of the rafters and the roof sheathing. So we're going to install the sheathing here before we build our wall and then add our roof rafters to that wall. And I'll let you pick whatever method you choose to use for your project. Just kind of throwing out some ideas as I do in most of my videos. Let's go ahead and install the fascia board. Throw the sheathing on and then kind of zoom into the area I was talking about. So you can install the roof sheathing this way. And again, I should have more information on that in the other video where the roof sheathing goes underneath the wall framing here. However, leaves kind of a strange gap there. This one over here, this one here will be built a little different where we're going to notch this section of the roof sheathing so that the new sheathing will be installed over it instead of notching around it. And I'm not just giving you a choice here on which one to use. I'm also providing you with an example of a problem that you might be dealing with if you use this type of construction, if your roof framing is identical to this project. And like I said, in the other video, you will have more information about the floor framing, wall framing, and sections of the roof. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible.